Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics and let's talk about these brown spots in your lawn. I'm sure many of you clicked on because you've seen an image like this and this looks like something that's going on in your lawn. And you're probably wondering what's causing this, why is it doing this, and it's probably only in some certain areas of the lawn and it commonly comes around winter time. So your probably big assumption is obviously winter damage, frost damage, freeze damage, whatever you want to call it. And you are correct. This is caused from frost damage, what you see here, this very spotty pattern like this, but it's happening like this for a reason, and it's only in very particular areas for a reason. Let's look at some more examples. Here's another example of what it also might look like in your lawn. It can even be as bad as this as well, almost all browned out in these areas. And sometimes it can be even lighter like this where it doesn't take up nearly as much of the lawn but there's dead definitely spots throughout uh, and then you can have you know areas that aren't damaged as well and here's another example of what it can look like and now here's a close-up from right above of exactly what the area looks like so what you got going on here is this is frost damage but this is frost damage in thatchy areas. And I don't understand exactly what that means is we need to know what thatch is. I have a full video that'll pop up above the screen going over thatch, but here's a quick example. Especially in St. Augustine grass, the main reason for thatch is from over fertilization because our grass grows by the runners. If you use a quick release nitrogen, the runners will lap over each other uh, and the furthest ones will die and they'll keep growing higher and higher on top of each other. And that's how the lawn can get very spongy. And that's this thatch uh, zone we're looking at right here. So what happens is the roots are actually exposed into the air and not picking up any water and nutrients. So as you can see in this example, your roots can only grow so long. So here all the roots are picking up all the water and nutrients and here you're missing a whole inch of your roots, not even in the soil. So you have a lot less roots picking up water and nutrients which will cause more drought. If you apply a herbicide in the thatchy, it can, the herbicide can actually hit the roots and stunt or damage the grass, even kill it. It'll get dry quicker. So there's many, many downsides of thatch. Now that we have a light understanding of thatch, so what happens is, is this is a thatchy area in here and so when the frost came through those roots that are not in the soil were actually hit by the frost or freeze so instead for it just getting stunted on top the grass is actually died out and it always dies out in these spotty leopard patterns um i don't i can't explain to you exactly why um but it's just hitting the thatchiest and worst areas and this is very commonly the the pattern everything i've showed you is pictures i've taken um all around in here in north florida now the good news is a lot of this will recover. The bad news is this will constantly be an issue year after year where these thatchy areas that are very spongy to walk on and do the leopard print pattern when we get harsh winters is definitely a problematic area. Also pests love to harbor in thatch and thatch also holds moisture for fungus. So thatch is bad all around. Now unfortunately here with St. Augustine grass you can't really de-thatch the lawn. It's very difficult to do and you usually because you end up pulling up the good grass as well as the bad grass so what i recommend in this situation is stop using quick release nitrogens or if you're hiring a company and this is happening a lot maybe switch companies or try doing it yourself but we have to stop the overuse of nitrogens not just from creating thatch but the other issues they can cause in the lawn and our environment so after you've done that and started to use slower release nitrogens and a lot less nitrogen, you should really only be using a heavier dose of nitrogen in the springtime and then a little bit in the fall. Through the summer, you should just be spoon feeding your lawn with something like milorganite, you know, with iron, micronutrients, and very, very small amount of, of nitrogen, but definitely lots of micronutrients. And so that'll help avoid this. Now, since you have this area, what you can do is, is put down soil and sand to help build the thatch layer back up. So what you're gonna wanna do is put soil in this thatch zone here. So what that'll do, that'll build up the foundation so the roots are back in the soil again and not exposed to the air. So they're not drying out and getting damaged or even dying when a frost or freeze comes because you can't use a de-thatcher here. And then once you do that, 
the roots will now fully be back in the soil and then you can avoid future thatch to help prevent this from happening again or seeing and seeing spots like this again in your lawn that's what's going to help avoid these and that's why you see them so this is more of a simple video, but it's great information because this is something that you'll commonly see a lot in your St. Augustine lawn. If you want to know what soil to use, I did a video called How to Fill in Thin and Bare Areas. I'll have that video come on screen and that will be the best soil mix to use to fill in that thatch layer. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments below. I do my best to answer. Thank you everyone so much for the support. Please like, subscribe, and share and have a great rest of your day.